Hey, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta bring that shit back. It's good to have you with us. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the baby mom. Mm. <laughs> I was going to say, welcome back to the Baby Mama channel. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Golden Baby channel. I'm back with another video on these three. Well, in this case, it's these four. Because Beast Mom then came out here and shook the table with what she said the other day. But before I get into what B. Simone said, I did want to come back and give an update to my last video I did on this topic featuring the baby, the baby mama Mimi and the Danny Lay. <laughs> because the update that I did do was in a live stream that I unfortunately had to take down. So some of y'all never got to see the explanation as to why Mimi had said what she said. Because I was confused on what she meant by she prepared us for what's going on right now because I was not prepared. But it turns out that Mimi is now now a rapper. I don't know if it's serious or if she's just playing, but Mimi seems to have a few songs under her belt as of right now. She's been in the studio, she's been cooking up some music, and a few of her lines are direct disses towards the baby and Danny Lay. If she thinks she a dog, I'ma walk the bit. I'm, I'm classic, blue hundreds, like I'm a low. Make you cry if you think I'm a joke. Watch your mouth while I clean it with soap. So that line about I call it quits was actually a part of one of her songs. And she's been getting mixed reviews from the people who follow her. Some of them like it, some of them are telling her to hang it up. But like I said, I don't know if she's being 100% serious because she said that her followers are the ones who asked her to do a song. But now that that update is out the way, let's get into the nitty gritty of today's video. Video. So if you have not been following this story at all, you would be completely lost by B. Simone's sudden involvement in everything that's going on. But lucky for you, I've already covered all of this, the baby debacle, on my channel already. I have a whole playlist up and ready to go. So definitely go and watch that first if you are lost. But if you're already hip and you know what's going on, child, B. Simone then came through talking about how Danny Lay has the upper hand over her because Danny is Latina and she has this nice hair that don't ever get fried when she bleaches it and she has this nice pretty skin and she can sing and she's thick. Just talking all of this, bigging up Danny Lay, which is fine, right? But she's doing it in comparison to herself, which is part of the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys hear everything that B. Simone had to say. She's fucking beautiful. She's Latin. Latin bitches already have the upper hand, bitches. Speak two languages and fucking spiciness is in your blood. That's not fair. Okay. Chili peppers. Chili peppers. Bitch. Like, Latin bitches are, they come out the vagina sexy. Like, how are you sexy at two, bitch? <laughs> You're a fucking infant. Why do you look, why are you walking around in diapers sexy? <laughs> if I had to grow into my sexiness, bitch, I'm still working on it. <laughs> what I'm saying is, clarification. listen. Just, here's the clarification. Okay, okay. Danny looks great. Okay. Her body is toned. She's a dancer. She already has the upper hand. I didn't grow up in athletic and dancing. So what I'm saying, I'm already yeah. behind. I'm 30. She's in her early 20s. Mm -hmm. I already have a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> My metabolism <laughs> is slowing the f down <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> You say you breaking because of traffic? How you slowing down? This is my metabolism. What am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? What do I have to do? She's beautiful. And her curls. Her curls are blonde and they're not fried off. When I dyed my hair blonde, I was bald. <laughs> That's another point for her. And she could sing without auto tune. I need a little T pain. <laughs> body is natural and she's dominican so she probably speaks in spanish mm. i've only met her like twice i met her at wild and out in another um event so she got the cheat code so beautiful she looks just like she looks like in her picture she looks just like that in person mm -hmm. well i mean i see why they we, like her. we win some we lose some we win yeah. some we lose some but we live to fight another day there we go there we go i gotta lose weight come on champ come on champ that's why we're going to Runyon Canyon? Canyon? I'm not going to Runyon today. I'm hungry. What? So no. I, we can start the diet Monday. It's the middle of the week. I'm not starting no diet in the middle of the week. <laughs> Danny's waist is getting snatched. And she could dance. She choreographed Bob. Really? I, I can dance too, though. I freestyle. Dominican they 
already have the upper hand. <laughs> because it's something in their blood that ma genetically makes them sexy. That's the problem. I'm gonna start telling people I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> I see it. You can see I'm from Puerto Rican. Just a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Like, bitch, she from DR, I'm from PR. <laughs> okay? Daddy's from DR, I'm from PR. Like, wait, Puerto Rican. So you really. He was pulling her hair. <laughs> Jesus. And I got tracks. Don't pull my hair like that. You can pull her real shit. <laughs> Take it easy. That's what I would have said if he would have pulled my <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> nigga, these, this is tracks, nigga. I'm not a hater. And the bitch is fly. <laughs> Facts. Facts. You know? How did she get so pretty? Why is her skin like that? Her teeth white as hell. You think she had braces? She had to have braces. She had to have braces. Because I'm on the way to veneers. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm a doctor's appointment away from veneers. God damn. I think my teeth done. I'm with Danny. Should I close my gap? Hell no. She's cute. She's cute. She's cute and she's Latin. She just bought her family a house in DR. Stop. You buy my family a house. I can't even buy me a house yet. <laughs> I still stay in the apartment. A lot of people have an issue with how B. Simone said that, you know, Latina women are born this way. They're already born looking good. They already born having the upper hand and then making comparisons, you know, talking about, oh, go, you can go pull on her real hair. What I got is tracks in my head. Like she's talking about Danny as if she's just this big, beautiful, bionic woman who never has an off day, who's always beautiful. And it all comes down to her being born as Latina. When let's be honest, no shade to Danny, but we've seen her hair looking a little fried from all that blonde dye. Danny has her off days just like the rest of us because she's a human being. Like she's making it seem like she's some type of superhuman because of where she's from and what her makeup is. And here's B. Simone's response to all the uproar that she caused over saying all of this. I wasn't going to address this shit, but here it fucking goes. This generation is so fucking stupid that y'all think if it trends, it's true. Y'all think I don't see the blogs in the fucking comments? I've been in the blogs all of 2020. Y'all want to know the truth? Y'all want to know what's really going on? Siri knows the truth. Siri, who is the baby's girlfriend? The baby's girlfriend is the world-renowned comedian B. Simone, <laughs> who always says baby girl. Period. Manifest it like, like... Thank System you. glitching. It appears the baby's girlfriend is the thicker, what? the beautiful, uh -huh. the Dominican mommy, Danny Lay. All right, she cute, but... Would you like me to play the song easy while you punch the air? I'm fine. Would you like me to restock your coloring book? <laughs> All right, bitch, stop playing with me. I'll call Alexa. Would you like me to locate a surgeon for your BBL? <laughs> You're gaining weight. You're you gaining don't... I know B. Simone is just playing around. However, just because you tell a joke, that doesn't automatically make it funny. And to be honest, I never really got into B. Simone's type of humor anyways. It's just not my thing. But it's just sad that she thinks it's okay to joke about something like this. And I know last week we just was talking about JT and her past remarks of what she said and her own struggles with being in her own skin. This situation, though, I feel is a bit different because I don't even think that B. Simone believes half of the things that she's saying. I don't think that she honestly thinks that that Danny Lay has the upper hand over her. And I don't know how serious she is about pursuing the baby if she still is at all. The thing is with her is that she thinks it's cute and it's funny and it's social media worthy to get up here and say the things that she said all over a man who honestly doesn't seem to want any of the women that he has available to him at the time. Or maybe he just does want all of them just at the same time. And for that reason alone, I just don't have the same sentiment, especially because if this was a man saying this, this would be even a bigger controversy. With the way the baby has carried himself through his relationships I don't think that he is worth being out here looking crazy for and honestly how much of an upper hand is Danny Lay supposed to have when they've been talking for over a year and she's just now being able to post him on social media and have him post her in return and even though she did make it official online not even a week or so later he was back with Mimi at Offset's birthday party so I don't think anybody has upper hand in this situation and I'm honestly starting to believe that some of this that's going on behind the scenes with the baby and Danny Lay has to be for a show has to be like there's no way these women are allowing him to disrespect them publicly like this like privately is one thing like you know you got something going on that's what y'all got going on y'all entanglements but publicly on social media like this like no 
part of this has to be for show. I mean, you can't convince me otherwise. Even with B. Simone, last time they did all of this, it was to promote the baby's music and B. Simone's book. So B. Simone, I hope you got something to promote after all of this happened. Let me see you come out with something new with B. Simone Beauty. Because I know you're not dumb, girl. I know you're not. But you guys, make sure you drop down in the comments below. Let me know how you feel. Do you guys think that part of this with Danny Lay and the baby has to be some kind of fake? Or do you think that I'm just wishfully thinking? And how do you feel about B. Simone's remarks? Do you think that she was wrong for what you said? Or do you think that people are being sensitive and it's just a joke? Make sure you leave your comments and opinions down below. Like the video because it's good for your edges. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. And that's it for today. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.